Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to show you how to control and resize the width of your Divi columns. So what we're going to show you is how to, you know, change the column sizes to, you know, a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, and this is going to allow so many new layout possibilities and I'm going to show you an example uh, how I'm using that on my personal website and I think it's going to really inspire you to use this trick uh, to resize your Divi columns. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so you may be wondering, you know, what, why would we need to resize columns in the first place? Because Divi does give us a nice selection of column layouts, especially, you know, over the past couple of years when they've had some updates. You know, there's a decent amount of columns here, and especially if we start looking over at, you know, specialty sections and things like that. But the reason this came up, a couple of people were talking about it in a Facebook thread, and I started thinking about, well, you know, it would be great if there was some kind of option, you know, in here in Divi, you know, maybe, maybe in the columns here, or even if you could just go here and, like, slide these left and right, something like that. So it really started me thinking. And a really good use case for why this would be necessary is over on my personal blog. So take a look at my header here. And when I was creating this, you know, I built this with the theme builder. So uh, I wanted to have the logo over here separate from my menu, okay? So I wanted to, I didn't want to use, you know, the menu module. I didn't want it to be over here. I wanted it to be just how it looks right now. But that was just not possible with any of the column layouts. Over here you can see I have a button and then here's like the, the social um, follow module. So okay, a button module, follow module, menu module, and image module. But you can see that this is not like any sort of predefined column layout. And in fact, um, I'm gonna get to this a little bit later, but in fact, I think this is like um, one tenth and this is like 65% and these might be like 15% each, something like that. But this is just an example of why this resizing columns is necessary. I wanted to get that over with first so that you could kind of be like, okay, what are we doing here? Uh, but let's get to this. So in order to properly resize our columns, um, I'm gonna have to make the row full width because we're gonna be using percentages. So you can imagine if I say, I want this column to be 25%. Well, if it's not 100% wide, this whole column, then 25% is 25% of what? So the first thing to do is go in here to sizing, turn on custom gutter width. Let's put that down. All right. And if you wanted space in here, we could add, you know, margins and paddings. Uh, but the gutter width has to be down. Um, just turn that on. Uh, width, we're going to make this 100%. Okay, and then the max width is overriding that, so we need to make that 100% as well. All right, so there's our column. So now if I would say, okay, I want this one, I mean, they are 25%, they're at one quarter. Um, but if I want to change the percentage now, it's based on 100%, okay? So I've set this to quarter, 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 quarter. And we're going to actually go in here and rec recreate what I've done here um, with resizing the columns. And I'm going to show you how simple that is. So go in here to your row, first of all. And inside the row is where all the columns are. So let's go to column one. Go to the advanced tab. Custom CSS. And the main element here. Now, I should point out now that there's going to be this responsive toggle that you can use. All right. So you, you might only want this to be a certain width on desktop, a little different on tablet, and probably certainly different on phone. You might want it to go from um, some width here on desktop to 100% on phone, something like that. So please keep that in mind. I'm only going to show you desktop for now, but you know that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and add the width that we want here for column one. I'm going to paste 10%. So you may have noticed um, a problem, not really a problem, but notice that this here got shorter. Well, 
That's because we have 25, 25, 25, 10. Well, that doesn't equal 100. So we're left over with, you know, some percentage over here, and it's just going to get wacky. So we need to make sure that when we're resizing columns that, it, that they always together equal 100%. Okay? So I've done 10. I have 90% to work with. All right? That's probably the biggest thing you're going to have to remember. So I just know from um, doing my website that I want this to be 65. Okay, I want column two to be 65. I know it's crazy, but that's how I want, that's where I want my menu. So then I'll go over here to column three, go to the advanced tab, custom CSS. And who knows, I could be off with my math, but I think, I think I need another 15 and another 15. Should have copied that other one. Okay. So, all I was doing was putting width, a percentage, and important. And again, you know, you're gonna, gonna wanna change this for mobile and tablet, but that's how easy that was. I, one line of CSS within Divi. You don't have to use media queries. You don't have to add a bunch of classes to all your columns and things like that. Um, to be honest, there are some older tutorials out there that are like super complicated and I pity people, especially beginners, who are trying to do these tutorials. But this one is, I hope that I'm explaining this well. You just go into each column and go to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and the main element, and you put in your width. And make sure that those widths equal 100%. And that right there is how you resize columns in Divi. All right, nice. So if you like that kind of thing, this is what we've been producing a lot. I know I say it a lot, but if you're subscribed, you're gonna get notified and you're not gonna get spammed. You're gonna get stuff like this all the time. So we are pretty much, um, we're Divi exclusive. Uh, so occasionally there could be, you know, some kind of different web design or Word, WordPress related thing, or maybe an occasional um, update from some of our adventures that my wife and I have. Um, but other than that, you're getting Divi content if you subscribe here or over on the blog. All right, well, we'll see you in the next video.